Well, our Virginia travels has has had us find some new friends, which we were already YouTube friends. Right, we've been yeah. longtime yeah. friends for over yeah. a year yeah. via YouTube. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so now we finally get to meet RVDM in person, Michael and Tiffany from RVDM. And uh, sounds like they're doing some jackhammering over there. <laughs> <laughs> right as soon as we hit the record button. Yeah. <laughs> we've been sitting here all day having a quiet conversation. Talking about this scenario too. Exactly. And as soon as we hit the record button, they start jackhammering. Yeah. yeah. But um, anyway, so we're here with Michael and Tiffany from RVD and we couldn't be more excited to finally meet you guys in person. Us when, too. When you called and said we weren't far away, I was like, what? Yeah, we got no to way. go see them. And you guys fed us. Some yes, good thank food, you. so we appreciate that. <laughs> and we've had just a great time for the last several hours just sitting outside, hanging out. And this is what it is really all about, the RV life. This yeah. is what we got it into into it for. And I think that's what you guys got into it too, in yes. for too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just getting together with awesome people like yourselves. We had our neighbors come by next door, and uh, that's where we got our tablecloth yeah. from. Exactly. Matter yeah. of fact, they got a tablecloth as yeah. well too. And so it's just uh, being yeah. outdoors and fellowshipping. Yeah. 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 And for those of you who have not seen RVDM, tell us a little bit about you guys' story and your channel. Where do you want to start? <laughs> Long story short. Long yes. story short. <laughs> yeah. We're just two crazy empty nesters uh, who sold everything to, to buy this Class A motorhome behind us over here. And uh, we hit the road about uh, six or seven months ago and uh, unfortunately got locked down to COVID. Yeah. But now we're out and about and exploring other places and, and getting together with uh, awesome people like the Wayward Wags here. <laughs> yeah. So actually our stories are very similar. Very, yep. very similar. Because we are both empty nest couples who have sold everything hit the road and now that we're we're opening up the country a little bit more yeah. we're able to get back in touch with with some folks like michael and tiffany so really excited to see you guys today and um what kind of stuff you guys got coming up where are you headed where are we headed that's a great question <laughs> <laughs> we're going to washington dc soon to see our son yeah right so he just moved into his apartment his birthday's coming up soon so we go in there and then uh we're just gonna hang around the virginia this kind of area for a while carolinas, carolinas. Yeah, carolinas yeah. yeah and then eventually we're going back to red bay alabama to get a few things fixed on the rig yeah and this is our first time in the north carolina virginia area and we love it yeah, yeah. it is beautiful it's up here. beautiful yeah. country out here. Yeah. so north carolina was home for us That's right yeah. kind of backyard for us so yeah yeah come visit the carolinas it is it is, it is. it's very green and yeah nice. <laughs> being in florida for so long like, yeah yeah it's, it's very different it is drastic <laughs> yeah yeah and um i think you guys are gonna attempt to have a similar winter that we're going to have both trying to head toward the Tampa show. Yep. Yes. yes. If they have the Tampa show, that's yeah. that's yeah. the whole thing. If they have the Tampa show, we'll be back there in January. And then maybe after that, maybe, <laughs> it depends on COVID, maybe we'll start heading west. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind that's of our us. plan too. We're working on the next calendar year of travel. And so for now, winter in Florida yeah. and then headed yeah, west yes. tentatively. Yeah. And I think Michael <laughs> said it dry. best uh, in a video of his a couple of weeks ago, written in sand. That's right. Yeah. Because <laughs> it can always change. Exactly. Yes. But the good thing is you have your home and all your stuff with you. So as plans change, yeah, you just exactly. kind of adjust your That's cells right. and adapt, you know? That yeah. That's true. And you guys uh, travel with a little furry friend. Yep. Yeah. We do. She's we adorable. have Molly. She's a senior. <laughs> uh, Yorkie and she's going through chemo right now so we are having to stay, stay in one a place little. a little longer each each trip yeah. Yeah. so we can get to an oncologist in whatever area we're in yeah. and get her checked out. Yeah we used to take her once every two weeks and now we're taking her to the oncologist once every month so, mm -hmm. yeah. so we can yeah. move yeah. every yeah. month now. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well we were a little too far of a drive to bring Scout with us to meet yeah. Molly but uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys will get to meet Scout yeah, definitely, sometime soon yeah. down the road. Um, we have purchased our thousand trails membership we have briefly mentioned that on our channel uh, they're working on the contract but i think once we get that together i think we'll probably we'll be seeing see a little more, more of each yeah because you guys are thousand trails members exactly yeah. Yeah. And we have stayed mainly in thousand trails yeah for that's most amazing. of our most of our travels yeah. the past six months that's awesome yeah so if you haven't already done it go and give rvdm a look we'll leave a link in the description below and this week we are in the richmond virginia area
Yeah, and one of the reasons that we wanted to come through this area was to see Civil War stuff. Um, I mean, regardless of what the world transitions into, it happened. It existed. Yeah, and I've always Can't been um, it. fascinated in history. I love yeah. history. I've always been interested in Civil War history. And um, for me to be able to come here and see this is, um, you know, something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. And so we're going to continue to do that in the other states that have Civil War battlefields and monuments. Uh, we're still going to go mm -hmm. see those as long as they are available, available to see. <laughs> well, we're like right down the, the path from where we were mm -hmm. at the graves. And so this is the, the location of Battery 5, which was the, the site of the very first attack from Union on the Confederacy in Petersburg. Yeah, it's the start of the battle. Yeah, and it was it was uh, Grant's attempt at, at taking Richmond from the south. Nine months and 18 days it took Grant to finally get the yeah, job yeah, done. Yeah. And um, so, and it's good that we're here in June because the initial siege took place in June mm -hmm. uh, 1864. Yeah. So we're feeling about the same type of weather that they would feel. Yeah. And it's hot. Well, behind us is the field uh, that we showed you a minute ago. Uh, but this is the opposite side of it where the Taylor house is. Yeah. And right in front of us is the crater. So I guess the crater was where some Confederate soldiers had had fortified and uh, Union hit them with some mortars. Yeah, they exploded. Yeah, and it was like four or something in the morning. At the time of the blast, 170 feet long, 80 feet wide, 30 feet deep, 278 Confederate soldiers were killed yeah. in that blast that night and um, you know because of all of the the stuff that they've done around here and um, well erosion uh, removal of artifacts yeah. they have also removed uh, 669 total bodies from the crater and surrounding battlefields mm -hmm. from this area which has caused this area to not look as it did the day of but yeah. um, still really cool and the crater is still huge yeah I mean, it is. Well, we're at the poplar grove national cemetery yep. and um this was established in 1866 for all the union soldiers who were killed in the, the siege and the battle yes. at petersburg and surrounding battlefields uh, one of the really cool parts about the layout of this cemetery is that all the graves are arranged in a circle and so all around the headstones the yeah all the headstones are facing the flag. the flag yeah no matter it's, where they're it said, at like soldiers at attention would yeah and you see the the headstones that are taller those are identified soldiers yes because you, you knew their names some of them you have bigger headstones with some more information yeah. but the little just the little squares are unknowns and there's a ton of unknowns out here as you can probably imagine with the civil yeah. war and people just get get killed and, and and maybe don't get found for a while i didn't have family to begin with yeah so they so just they weren't well known just don't know so there's a bunch of unknowns yeah. out here well Whatever. today we're at the pamplin historical site There's indoor and outdoor stuff. They give you the little audio tour to go on. Yeah. How much was it to get in here? Uh, Twelve dollars a person for military. Yeah, it was like fourteen for regular. But... There's a ton to see out here, though. Yeah. Everything inside is super interesting. Uh, we didn't really talk much in there because we were listening to mm -hmm. our deal, but we'll show you all that. We'll show you all the stuff out here. 
very cool historical Civil War yeah. stuff. Tudor Hall back there. Yeah. That's where the descendants of the uh, the brothers who owned this lived. Yeah. But it was taken over by General McGowan. Yeah. And his uh, army as came, like came a a headquarters. headquarters. And so we'll take you inside and show you what that looked like. Some of it is um, still looks like it would as if the family lived there, and some of it is designed as if it was headquarters. Yes. For the army. Yeah. So they did a really good job of showing yeah. both of that. So we'll show you. I don't know if you can see in the background back here, but you can still see the earthworks where the where the ground is higher. Yeah, it's been eroded a lot. Yeah, that was obviously. What said. Yeah, but uh, this is where the Confederate soldiers or the Confederate army were fortified in in Petersburg, and this is we're actually standing on the place where where the the big deal went down on April second, eighteen sixty five. Yeah, between the Union and the Confederacy, and actually when the Union broke through Confederate mm -hmm. lines, which led to the, the Confederacy moving out. Retreating back. Yeah. yeah. And which led to the Union taking Petersburg yep. and ultimately taking Richmond. Richmond. So, big deal happened here. Right, yeah. Right where we're standing. Yes. Um, so, it doesn't look super exciting on camera, <laughs> but it's super exciting it in is. person. It's cool. So, if you get the chance to come out here. Well worth it. Yeah. This has been a really cool tour. Yeah. Yeah, to go in the house and see where General McGowan stayed. And then he came out here and fought, yeah. you know, and just knowing that Grant and Lee were here. here. <laughs> they were right here, yeah. fighting each other. Yeah. Just to see the the planning, the strategies yeah. of how the, each army at, uh, got their supplies, how they yeah, maneuvered, the and where they set up and why they set up there, close to railroad tracks and supply routes and high ground and. Yeah. It's just all super cool. Mm -hmm. There's so much to see and read and hear yeah. out here that we can't share with you. So if you get the chance to come out here to the uh, the Pamplin historical site, you should definitely do it. Yeah, it's a definite must in Petersburg. Yeah, and for only 14 bucks. Yeah. If you're And it's a whole day thing because they show they have movie times for certain films. Yeah. They do reenactment, not reenactment, but uh, military reenactments of how mm -hmm. they lived on the on the post and stuff so it's yeah. really neat and they do a really good job out here of showing what it really looked like what it really felt like a lot of the stuff inside we can't film or or photograph so again a good reason for you have to come out here yeah. and see it in person but um you know unfortunately with everything going on in the world 
you know yeah. uh, it's not a popular topic right now the civil war oh yeah but look it happened it happened and you can't erase what happened and so we're going to show it that's right well we are at the bank's house yes looks like any old normal house any old town old virginia <laughs> but it's not no this house was used by general ulysses s grant on April 2nd and April 3rd of 1865 when he set up for the breakthrough at Petersburg. Yeah, right after the breakthrough, yeah, he after, took this house as headquarters. Yeah, so they hung out here and then um, his army chased Lee back to Appomattox mm -hmm. and one week later, General Lee um, surrendered to Grant. Yeah. About 90 miles west of here. And you gotta come see the Banks house. Yeah not really much to it but just like I said earlier there's not much to see but the historical value yeah. mm -hmm. um, General Grant slept in that house <laughs> strategized in that house yeah. planned a campaign beat the crap out of Lee <laughs> went and took Richmond uh -huh. and then followed him to Appomattox got him to resign so I don't know that's pretty badass in my book <laughs> Yeah, it's so it's pretty cool to be standing at a place where a, a history yeah, yeah and so when when you saw me at the NASCAR museum yeah. geeking out <laughs> I kind of do the same thing with military history yeah uh, General Grant was a huge major piece of military it's history amazing. yeah he's a big deal yeah. he's the kind of guy that if you were alive during the time and you saw him you just wouldn't even know what to say to him to, uh, you probably wouldn't say anything to him oh, no. you know this is one of the d deals where you open your mouth and it goes uh, or if he asks you a question, you go, uh, <laughs> just all thoughts fall out of your brain. You don't know what to say. Yeah. So he's, he, I could see him as that kind of a dude. Yeah. Even though I heard he was just kind of easy going dude. That's what you heard. That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Talk around town. I got friends. <laughs> I got friends. No people. Uh, no people. They were buddies with Grant back in the day. No, they weren't. You got friends in low places, <laughs> but you don't got friends in these kind of places. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, really cool. Yeah. Got to come see it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's go. Today we're at the Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Very famous cemetery. Yes. So we like cemeteries. And so this is a really great one. Yeah. Three presidents are buried here. Two presidents of the United States and the one and only president of the Confederacy mm -hmm. are all three buried here. Like nine different uh, governors of Virginia. Mm -hmm. Like, I think, I want to say like 18 or 20 Confederate generals yeah. are buried here. And 18,000 Confederate soldiers it's a lot. buried here. Yeah. Most of the graves that you see out here are from the 1800s, right. from the Civil War era. Um, yeah, like early 1800s. Yeah, so a ton of history out yeah. here. And it's a beautiful cemetery. Yeah, the monument behind us is a Confederate monument um, to the, to the, to the 18,000 Confederate soldiers that are buried here. There are several different um, uh, memorials and monuments out here, so we'll show you all the cool stuff. We'll show you all the graves of the presidents and some of the other cool things that we might find along the way. Yeah. Uh, also buried up here with the presidents, Tyler and Monroe are the Haxel family who mm -hmm. were founders of the cemetery. 
the Anderson family, yeah. which Joseph Anderson was a major supplier of munitions to the Confederate Army, mm -hmm. and the uh, some dude named Maury who did everything. Did it all. He was like an astronomer, a historian, a uh, p politician. Mm -hmm. uh, he did like you name it. He did it, it. Yeah, he did all kinds of stuff. So he was a real big deal in Richmond, and uh, so a lot of the the famous people in Richmond history are buried right here with the presidents and the view is awesome incredible oh there's that bridge you can walk under yeah i squirreled <laughs> <laughs> oh behind me you can see the graves of president monroe and president tyler but i wanted to show you they're up here on the hill on presidential circle and i really want to show you the view from here down to where it overlooks so there is President Tyler's headstone. President Monroe is back there. And they overlook this in one direction. And this in another direction. Well, now we're at the grave of uh, Jefferson Davis, who was the one and only Confederate state president mm -hmm. and also buried with him is his wife and two, two of his daughters, daughters the husband of his daughter who was a Confederate uh, soldier there's more surrounding the circle so I'm, I'm yeah. assuming it's extended family probably extended family yeah I haven't looked at it yet there are a couple of um, Confederate generals that are buried around oh, this area too so we'll show you their graves and their names and what they did yes but this is this is very cool this is beautiful. Very. And we'll show you the view from where Jefferson Davis is too. Just like where the other presidents were. It's, it's a beautiful view up here. They're doing a little construction, but yeah. other than that, on a normal day, yeah. it would be a beautiful view. Gorgeous. Yeah. We appreciate you guys' hospitality and yes, having us. thank you. And the fellowship. Our pleasure, yes. And the food. It was so much it fun. Was all, and the beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. We appreciate it. It was a hot yeah. day too. It was a, <laughs> Yeah, so we appreciate you watching. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero, mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Bye.